bellies. So we're going to be down on our bellies. So we're going to cross our arms, place our forehead on our hands. So there was a quote that I saw that was from Martha Beck. And it says, slow is fast and gentle is powerful, but stillness can move mountains. So tonight in these poses, we're gonna hold them. And again, use that Ujjayi breath if you need to come to a part that you feel like you want to come out of. We want you to stay in that pose. That's what it's working. Maybe you keep your eyes closed or in a soft gaze to really settle in. And maybe we're so still that we can feel that breath move through our body. And maybe when we can come to that stillness, that intention will help us relax into our breath. Take a nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, bring those hands underneath your shoulders. Breathing in deeply, and as you exhale, push yourself up to full cobra. Open up that chest, that heart chakra. It's in your practice, a little back bend, but just be mindful of your back. The answers that we seek never come to us when our mind is busy. They always come to us when our mind is still. stillness. Maybe you listen to your body and hear that breath flowing through. Or maybe you hone in on the sounds that are around you or the sounds around me. When you have that 
stillness and that steadiness in your life. And you can probably hear that highway. But in our house, we have that stillness and that comfort that we don't often hear it. My mom lived right by a railroad track. It would always scare me when a train would come through and she'd be like, I didn't even realize. So you can find that stillness and that peace. Again, take a nice deep breath in here, and as you exhale that breath, push back into child's pose and get settled. Whatever's in your practice, whether it's wide leg, knees together, knees bent, arms wherever they're comfortable. Tonight, I can't really move my arm too much, so just wherever is comfortable for you, and then just settle in. Maybe your arms are at your side above your head. Your stillness might be because you want to improve you. Maybe your stillness is because you want to relax. Relax both your mind and your body. And maybe your spirit. Maybe it's all over the place right now. But right now in these poses, in our mind that being still makes this so much easier. And maybe even in these times when our mind's racing, we find that ujjayi breath almost meditative to still our mind, our anxiety, our stress, our body. Draw your attention inward and really find and know you. Find that stillness and be still. Take a nice deep breath in and slowly rise up to table. Have your hips squared off, your knees underneath your hips, your fingertips underneath your shoulders. Nice flat back. I want you to take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, raise your right arm high to the sky. Again, I can't do that tonight, but take your gaze up to your right fingertips. Take a nice deep breath in and a nice deep breath out. Again, a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, take that right arm under the left. Spreading that needle, bringing that 
right cheek down to the mat. Keep your breath moving. When we're still, it allows us to maintain our presence in our own life. Take a nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, unravel that arm. Come back to tabletop. Again, your feet flat, your knees under your hips, your fingers under your shoulders. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Take a nice deep breath in and reach that left hand high to the sky, taking your gaze to those fingertips. Again, take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, thread that needle under that right arm, bringing that left cheek down to the mat. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, come back to tabletop. Breathing deeply. Exhaling deeply. Again, the next part I can't do, but I'm going to explain. So take a nice deep breath in, tuck your toes, and meet in downward facing dog. 
So you're going to push up those hips. Feet flat. Let your head hang heavy. You're a nice upside down feet here. I'm going to hop up for one minute. You guys, we're going to go into pigeon. So we're going to take our left leg high to the sky. Deep breath in, and as you exhale, swing that through, bringing that front leg parallel to your mat, stretching the back leg out. Settle in, fingertips up, nice squared off hips. Take a nice deep breath in. You can either stay up or you can come down, all the way down or up a little bit and settle in, really opening up those hips. Sometimes in hip openers, we watched the video earlier, that's where some of that emotion can come out, you know, our stress and our anxiety, our emotions in our hips. that breath connect to our true self. Sometimes when we practice stillness, it can take some time, but you'll be happier in those still moments. In through your nose and out through your nose. Take a nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, plant your hands down and send that leg back up. Go to three-legged dog, really work that leg out. When that feels good, meet in downward facing dog. Again, taking a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. A deep breath in and raise that right leg high to the sky. Breathing in deeply as you exhale. Swing that leg forward, parallel to your mat. Send that left leg nice and straight. You come up on your fingertips, straighten off. You can either stay here or again, come down. Whatever feels good in your practice. Try to settle in and be really still.
frequency when we're still. We can just let life happen. That's when stillness will begin to set into our lives. Set into a motion of a habit. Take a nice deep breath in. And a nice deep breath out. Another nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, come back up, plant those hands down. And send that leg back to a downward facing three legged dog. Really work that hip out. Again, I'm instructing you to then bring that weight down into a downward facing dog. That's an upside down V, pressing into the palms of our hands. Straight legs. I'll pop up for one minute, best I can. Take a nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, walk those hands back to your feet. And I'll instruct on this. I can't stay here for long, but we're going to come into a rag doll. So grab opposite shoulders with opposite palms. Find a heavy, slight bend in your knees. And no sway here. I want you to find that spot. And you're going to stay in that rag doll. our mindsets amongst all of our chaos that goes on in our own mind and the world around us. It sends us to a mindset towards peace. Take a nice deep breath in and a nice deep breath out. Again, a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, let your hands come down to your back. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, down the goddess. Get your feet flat. You want to try to spread them out as far as you can on the mat. That will help. Today, that's not happening. <laughs> your hands are at heart. Really push apart those legs. Just a minute here. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and a nice deep breath out. Again, a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. A deep breath in, plant your hands down, come to your bums, and then all the way down to your back. So however you have to get there. Once you get there, take a deep breath in. Hug your knees into your chest. Take 
take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, let those bent legs fall to the left. Open up your arms to a T. You can even help bring that right leg down with your left arm. Try to keep both shoulders flat on the mat. Taking that closed eye gaze over that right shoulder. Amazing Gavin's timer today. I know you guys like mine, but. Again, taking a nice deep breath in. Deep breath out. A deep breath in, and as you exhale, bring those legs back to center. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, let those bent legs fall to the right. Open up your arms to a T, taking that gaze over your left shoulder. Maybe your right hand pulls down that left knee. Take another nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, bring those knees back to center. Now I want you to hug your knees in as tight as you can, curl up into a tiny little ball, bringing everything in. Take a nice big deep cleansing breath in and hold that breath for five, four, three, two, one. Let it go out of your mouth and release everything down to your final resting pose. Shavasana. Release it all. Scan your body. Release any tension. Relax your jaw. Move the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Find your stomach. Psalm 46.10 says, be still and know that I am God. Maybe you find some stillness in him. And find that peace. Mind, body, and spirit. Remember, the answer you seek, again, will never come when your mind is busy. The answers always come when your mind is still. Take a nice deep breath in. 
And as you exhale, that breath roll to your right side using your arm as a pillow. Start to come back to your breath in your moment. Take a nice cleansing breath in, and as you exhale that breath, slowly rise to the top of your mat, letting your head be the last to rise. So come sit in any comfortable position at the top of your mat with a nice tall spine. Grasp your knees with your palms or your hands and really elongate that spine. Take a nice cleansing breath in, reach your arms out and up, and exhale your hands to heart center. Thank you, ladies, for being here with us tonight, sharing this wonderful practice. A little bit of yin with the yang of our life. I hope that you find stillness, mind, body, and spirit in whatever comes your way, that you find that peace that calm. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Be kind to yourself and love one another. And until we meet again, we bow forward with grateful hearts, sharing namaste.